The double bass is the largest member of the string family and the lowest in range. It can play notes an octave below the cellos. If you compare a double bass with a cello, it's not just bigger, but it's a slightly different shape. This is what it sounds like. <laughs> The four strings are tuned a fourth apart, starting on E three octaves below middle C, but as this would mean a lot of ledger lines, all double bass music is written an octave higher. So some double basses have five strings, they have an extra string on the bottom, but most people now have an extra bit put on an extension put on their bass this thing here, and that gives me some extra notes. So this is the E that I played you before, but I've also now got a D, and then a most beautiful low C. In an orchestra, the double basses mainly support the cello line by playing an octave below them. So the famous British composer Benjamin Britten wrote some fiendish bass parts. He had a very brilliant bass player who used to work for him and he used to write these parts to keep him on his toes. In Britten's Young Person's Guide to the Orchestra there's a dazzling display of what the double bass section can do. <laughs> In the slow movement of Mahler's first symphony, he writes for a solo double bass, which is very unusual in symphonic music. You might recognise the tune. There are some beautiful sonatas written for the double bass and piano. Here is a modern one written only in 2013. It shows the double bass in its full musical and lyrical flow. And you can see how the sound of the instrument fills the hall. In a full-size symphony orchestra, there are usually eight double basses and they sit behind the cellos. The double bass is also really effective when we play with our fingers. This is called pizzicato and you can hear it even when the whole orchestra is playing. Today, one of our great exponents of the double bass in the classical world is Chichi Noanoku, who has recently made a great success of the Chinake Orchestra, which she has founded. In the jazz world, the most famous player was perhaps Charles Mingus.